So I'm actually going to move on to product engineering. I'm going to go in as a different user, kind of a day in the life of Mike Miller in this case. Mike Miller goes into my innovator and goes into his in basket and you see here that he has a lot of items related to changes that are going on. So a particular ECO is going to take a look at is this workflow task here. So there's several things that are going on. I can take a look at the, the task itself, completing the task. I can take a look at the workflow, where it currently is for this particular workflow in ECO, what activity level it's at. I can also go over here and actually open up that ECO item itself. So real quick about engineering change with Ares Innovator 11. This is an example of one of our Express ECOs. We actually have a fully compliant CM2 certified product. So the change items can be things like problem reports, which can be linked to engineering change requests, so PRs, ECRs, also ECNs, engineering change notices. This is a tool, the impact matrix and the Express ECO that we've done a lot of work on to simplify the change process for companies that can go with a more simplified change process and we automatically do the where used and the structure to suggest what other items might be want to be included in the same uh, change. So in this case we're using our impact matrix. The item that was placed on the impact matrix is this MakerPot replicator but you can see here that the actually the other items that are being changed are also the, the extruder, the body, and maybe we want to revise them all in the same ECO or different ECOs. depends on what our company policy is. For this ECO, if I wanted to see who we saw before, a quick view of where it is currently in its workflow. If I wanted to see who else had already signed off on it, I could take a look at that. This is where I could actually cast my vote. I could also do it through the activity that we saw before. Here on the impact matrix, of course, are the actual affected items.